Far Cry is a franchise I am quite fond of. There's nothing like killing thousands of people to get you to wake up in the morning. The latest installment, Far Cry 6, takes players to Yara, fictional Cuba. Far Cry 5 was exemplary at depicting the nightmarish hellscape that is my Second Amendment-fueled existence here in America. And if that attention to detail is the same, then this game is quite the portrayal of everyday life as a Cuban. Far Cry 6 has a very simple loop. 90% of the time spent in this game, you go to a place and kill people. It's a good loop. You have a variety of weapons that you acquire, four of which can be equipped at once and can be swapped out on the fly. They range from shitty pea shooters to face-melting war crimes. They all feel pretty good, and while I did have favorites, there were no guns I used that I particularly disliked. You also have access to special weapons made from depleted uranium, none of which I ever used because I didn't feel like they warranted a slot over my other guns. Additionally, this depleted uranium can be spent on El Supremo, which is a series of special backpacks that can do things like launch homing rockets or healing gas to self-revive if you go down. Why is uranium necessary in building a rocket launcher or nail gun? Revolucion, baby! I don't know. To help you on your adventure are amigos. They're companions that accompany you to help you in combat, and they're all animals. And yes, you can pet the animals in the game. El Huapo, the alligator with a gold tooth and baseball jersey. You can get him very early on. I stuck with him for most of my playtime because he was available for me the longest and had the best combat abilities. I mean, once you get a fucking alligator companion that can self-revive in combat, what's the point of switching to anything else? Honestly, this system is a little half-baked. It could have been like Far Cry 5, where the different companions play differently and can get mixed together, but because it took so long to unlock other companions, I was just stuck with El Huapo, so I never really felt incentivized to seek out or use the others. Another big part of Far Cry is crafting. Being a guerrilla means you have to improvise. You find scrap and turn it into whatever you need, mainly equipment modifications like red dot sights and silencers. It's an interesting system. The problem is you never need to engage with it, and I know this because I never did. There's no need to craft a suppressor because I can just find a gun that comes pre-built with one. By the time I was thinking about upgrading a weapon, I would find one that was suited to my needs, so I never had to craft anything. You even find unique guns with special modifications that can't be changed. I exclusively used these, meaning if I wanted to craft on my guns, I couldn't. So it's a cool system that's rendered entirely moot by the way you acquire base gear. There are other activities in Far Cry that try to help break up the monotony, but they're really just distractions. There's races, cockfighting, environmental puzzles, and a few others, but ultimately they don't matter because they just distract from the main loop, which is more engaging anyway. I appreciate the work that went into adding more to do, but it's pretty boring shit. Even fishing, which I love, returns from Far Cry 5, and it just feels so underbaked here. Thankfully, Yara is a gorgeous place to explore. Beaches, jungles, it's a tropical postcard like I haven't seen since Dead Island. It oozes character, and Ubisoft really went to great lengths to make it feel like not Cuba. It even avoids being too Americanized by having plenty of Spanish integrated in a natural way into the world and dialogue that really makes it feel like this is a real place and the characters belong here. The locations of Far Cry games have always been exotic and memorable, and Yara is certainly no exception. Far Cry 6 starts to pull at itself when it comes to its characters and story. It's very bipolar. At times, Far Cry 6 is an incredibly serious story about tyranny, revolution, and the horrors of a dictator clinging to power. It has drama for Giancarlo Esposito to chew on as the villain Anton Castillo. Then you get to the other side of things with characters who have jersey-wearing pet alligators and make poop jokes. Or maybe he just needs to take a dump. There's a such thing as levity in storytelling, but this just feels like two tones fighting each other for center stage. Are we Garias or the Three Stooges? Far Cry 6 is not without faults. Fortunately, long after release, I avoided the numerous bugs that plagued the game and had a nearly flawless experience in that regard. My biggest gripe with Far Cry 6 is repetition. You do the same shit for hours with little to shake it up, and little motivation to do so yourself. The game is murder, and believe it or not, murder eventually gets boring. You can try to approach murder in new ways, but there's no reason to. I just used the same method because it was the most satisfying for me and the quickest. So, with no internal motivation to change, I was left with a game that didn't deviate from its basic loop for hours. It turned into a slog. That's not to say it's a bad slog, but there's just so damn much, and for what? There's no point in finding every piece of gear or every gun, and so much of the game outside the main loop feels underbaked like I've mentioned a few times already. The side activities, the other systems, it all feels like it wanted to be something else. They feel out of place or just completely unimportant alongside the combat loop of the game where you liberate outposts and kill nameless bad guys. It feels to me like they wanted to make Far Cry 5 again in a different setting, and it doesn't work. 
Far Cry 5 was this weird mix of serious and funny, with a serious religious cult alongside bumbling hillbilly characters where a testicle festival and stopping your shenanigans to fish all fit. Far Cry 5 was American. It threw a bunch of shit in a blender and it worked because America is like that. As an American, I can confirm that fishing, wall planes, dogfight over your head, eating bull scrotes, and religious fanatics with guns are all everyday occurrences. Far Cry 5 is America, so that weird mix of gameplay activities worked. Applying that mix to any other setting doesn't work because it doesn't make sense. Applying American stupidity to characters inside a grim, dictatorial tyranny doesn't work outside America, especially in Cuba. Far Cry 6 tried to be Far Cry 5, but somewhere different that was still picturesque. And I don't blame them. Far Cry 5 sold super well, so why wouldn't you do the same thing but change it enough to warrant another price tag? Except it just fell apart of it. Far Cry 6 is a fun game, and I do ultimately recommend it if you like mayhem and violence, and especially if you like Far Cry games. There's plenty of fun combat, vehicular warfare, and numerous moments that had me laughing at how bonkers some of the shit I pulled off was. It's nothing more than a casually violent good time. And if that's what you expect going in, I think you'll enjoy yourself. But I can't help but think what could have been. It seems like Far Cry 6 tried to replicate the tone of its predecessor to a fault, and has a lot of systems that just don't feel necessary at all. If this game were more focused on the guerrilla experience, and less on the poop humor of America, I think Far Cry 6 could have been something really special. But as it stands, all we have is a casual game of violence. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just wish that it had realized more of its potential.